Welcome to Explorer HQ, a growing international community of young people who are taking on challenges to reconnect with nature and each other and to save the planet one mission at a time. The climate crisis can be overwhelming, but by making simple, small changes in our day-to-day -day lives, our collective impact will make a big difference on a global scale. So if we're all connected, how does what one person does here affect what happens to people who live here? I'm Emily, and today we're going to meet another explorer, Jeanne, in Dominica, to learn about a serious issue in the Caribbean, seaweed, or more specifically, sargassum. This is sargassum, a type of brown algae seaweed. It's normally an important part of the regional ecosystem and host myriad species. But it's grown so rapidly in recent years that it's formed thick layers that spread for miles, which is causing big problems. Fishermen can't work due to their boats and nets becoming entangled, and animals such as dolphins and turtles are dying due to not being able to surface. When the sargassum dies, it sinks to the seabed and smothers the coral and seagrass meadows. And it washes up on the beaches too, where it rots and impacts on the vital tourism businesses. So what's causing it? It's complicated, but scientists think that one of the reasons for the explosion in sargassum is that more nutrients entering the Caribbean Sea from the Amazon, largely due to the increased fertilizer that is running into the river. More of the rainforest that previously filtered this runoff out is being replaced with soy farms, which produce cattle feed for the international beef market to fill plates worldwide with burgers or steak and dairy products. If cattle farming is the big problem, perhaps we need to think about reducing our beef and dairy intake. This week's Explorer HQ mission is, don't have a cow, have a beef and dairy free week. Livestock farming has a large environmental impact globally, so cut out all cow-related products for seven days. What do you think, Janae? Can we do this? It's not going to be easy, but let's give it a go. wasn't too bad. What did you think, Janae? Yeah, feels good actually. I missed a bit of meat, but otherwise it was fine. That's just two people though. Not much difference, right? But what if our whole network of explorers take the mission too? The outcome? Less meat, less dairy, hopefully leading to less soy, less fertilizer runoff, and eventually less sargassum. Plus a whole new set of explorer connections. Explorer HQ, saving the planet one mission at a time.